Boxing King Media. Delighted to be joined by Joe McNally. Joe, commiserations. Uh, great fight. Uh, what's your immediate thoughts? Um, fantastic fight. The ebb and flow that I wanted. Come back and forth. I thought Josh fought a great fight. A few fundamental mistakes. Switching off and letting Jack, you know, tee off on him now and again. But I thought Jack fought a good fight too. And I thought... It was probably 100% better than the first. I thought Josh thought the scorecards was a disgrace. Um, the I think I stressed my frustration going on <coughs> Thursday with the young judging panel. Also, the referee, I thought Kevin Parker was fantastic tonight. He let the fight ebb and flow going back and forth. Um, really, they go done a good job, but... 117, 111, you know, Eddie's here, he's a Catadel's promoter, he says he's got Jack 6-5 going into the last and Josh won the last, so there's a draw, that's Jack's own promoter, I give Josh by a couple of rounds, but look, glad to go there and fuck, congratulations to Jack. I'm proud of Josh also. I think one of the patterns in the fight people saw was it took a while for Josh to get into the fight. Why, why did you think that was? Yeah, I can't put a finger on it. You know, um, I really can't. I thought he lost the first to give the way the first straight away, waiting too long, looking. And then Adam taking the second. Taking the second, maybe the third. And then he warmed up nicely into it. And then slowly, slowly pushed the fight. I think Jack lost his shape. He was working in very small base and Josh forced it he was, he was hitting the body really good he got hurt himself in the 11 but he he buzzed Jack a few times he hurt him um, I thought he forced the fight and if you look at the computer stats also they've given it to Jack by winning on his jab I thought Jack's jab was fantastic tonight as we knew going into it but Josh outlanded them by power punches by 50% more. That tells the story of the fight to me. A lot of people are talking about how hard it, hard it will be for the losing the fights to come back, but because it was such a close fight, has Josh got more to give? He's certainly got more to give. But it's... You come off a controversy in the first fight, and then the biggest fear is the, the judges not being prepared for another controversy which is now we're dealing with uh, Joshua short tight he's one which sets up it's things that I have into the business let's them do it again the truth of it is I don't think Jack's going to get a world title shot beggar to what Eddie says he's never getting one the belts are tied up Eddie's not going to force it um, I don't know what's next for Josh but I also don't know what's next for Jack so is it being set up for the trilogy I don't know. It's not so. Look, Jamie, Nigel, and Jack. Congratulations, the fantastic people. I'm a big fan of Jack Catterell and his team also. So you know, it's let them enjoy the win. It's fantastic. Last thing about the weight. If he does come back, would you like to see him move up or stay at super lightweight? The weight wasn't a problem. He finished a stronger fighter. He finished a stronger fighter. I said that all week. Josh Taylor's a 140 pound fighter, and that's all tonight. Tonight showed that Jack's tight at the weight. He's a big, strong boy. Thick shoulders, good thing. Jay, well, he's a strong boy and he's cooked at the weight and that's why he was blown. And Josh forced the action, but Josh Taylor's at 140. And Sean tonight, he finished the stronger fighter. He outpunched, outpunched Jack all night and it is what it is, yeah. Well, either way, it was a great fight and a great performance. Commiserations as always, Joe, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks. God bless.